All right, guys. So today we are going to finish up Miss Frizzle and see her final product. Um, I think she's going to look really cool. I've always loved Miss Frizzle, so I'm very excited to see this. Um, it's been on my to-do list for a while, but my daughter's a little bit young and not quite a fan of hers yet. Yet. So I was excited that this one was the one that was picked for uh, the giveaway on the Shelby Facebook page. I'll make sure to link the page for that down in the description box below. Um, if you're new here, I make Tony's um, and other toy designs um, and I post them on the YouTube page so that you at home can make them yourself and I walk you through the process of it. If that's something that you might be interested, please feel free to like and subscribe uh, so you'll get alerts with any new videos that I make. Um, with that being said, let's get into it. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to start covering all of her skin and start making it look like a person and less of a pink blob. I've got kind of an obscene amount of paint brushes, but they work for me, so don't judge, it works. The paint that I am using today um, is Craftsmart. I love that brand. I think it's very, um, it works very well. It's a nice price point. Um, you can usually get them for less than a dollar if you use their coupon. Um, the color is Mocha. It works really well for lighter skin tones. And there's two different shades of the lighter skin tone uh, that Tony's makes. Mocha is actually a perfect match for one of them. I'm going to go ahead and cover, just kind of make it messy around the hair just because I want to get into all those little nooks and crannies. So it might look a little bit weird right now, but it will look really weird if you see some skin that stands out after it's all painted. Um, well, not skin, some pink skin that stands out. I'm going to really just kind of like force that brush into all the little nooks and crannies along her hairline. Um, which I did post a video for that up to on how we made this hair if you're interested in seeing that. I'll make sure to link all of them together again in that description box below. You'll notice that the face is taking the paint much better than like the arms. That's mostly because it's already sanded. Um, anytime you sand a Tony, it's going to really kind of pick up that color much better than any of the areas that aren't. As you can see, it's obviously not a requirement to get it to take the color, but if you're looking to cut down on some time, or if you have a color that maybe doesn't take very well, that's always a good recommendation. Or a good way to go, rather. As I'm painting her arms, I just realized <laughs> the design that we're doing, I think, has a long sleeve dress. So let's take a quick moment to see. I can't remember offhand. doing her space dress because I just love her dress. It totally does have the arms or it has the sleeves on the dress so we don't need to finish doing those but it doesn't hurt that we did. You can always go back over it with other paint obviously so if you ever do anything like that don't fret. You can fix it. 
I did do a little bit of modifications in my hand because she was holding a microphone and I want her to hold her little iguana instead. So there are little parts that look a little bit different, but once she's complete, once the iguana's in, we won't have any issues. I actually um, had the iguana 3D printed. And there's a cute Etsy shop that was willing to do it for me. Super duper tiny. She makes all these other really tiny animals and I just kind of fell in love with her shop. So I reached out to her and she was able to make a special request. Um, I was able to find a file for free of the iguana itself. So I sent her that and um, she was able to print that for me. Um, I'll make sure to include both her shop and the file I used because I haven't seen it yet in person. Obviously, she's still sending it in. But the pictures of it are just so cute. I have a feeling that I'm not going to be the only one that wants one. Okay, so she has like this very orange hair. So these were the colors that I picked for her hair. It's going to be primarily this. But we're going to do like a little combination of the three of these just because she obviously has highlights and lowlights. Um, but our overall color is going to be this. So we'll start with this here. Now, her hair is very textured. So we're going to use this really fluffy, beat up, chewed up brush. It was totally destroyed um, a while ago. My daughter got a hold of it while she was teething and started chewing on my brush. I don't know what to tell you. These things happen and this thing did happen. So I didn't want to throw it away because it still worked. Like it still had its handle. It still had its bristles. So it felt really wasteful if I threw it away and Turns out I was right. I found a use for it. This is cute. It's kind of like a strawberry blonde color. You can see that texture is already coming in so much nicer now that we have a little bit of color to it so you can see it a little bit clearer. So as it starts to come in, you'll start to see some of those little frays that are in there. Just pluck them out. Because that little spider webbing that hot glue does is kind of like glitter, like it just never really goes away. So you have to independently grab them. And then we'll just kind of sweep down to those little spots down just to make sure we cover all the edge of her hair. Some of this part's going to be tedious, but it will be worth it in the end. 
So just stick it out. I know it can be tough sometimes. Shortcuts can be noticed though. Sometimes not. But can be if you just do like a straight line instead, that would be noticed. But if you find a more efficient way of doing this, I mean, do it, but also tell me, please, because I would love that. Sharing is caring. Okay. She already looks a little bit more like Miss Frizzle. She's cute. I like her. Ah! Also, um, it's been a tough day for me, so I have a, I'm having a beer. Um, that That's it. No judgment, please. <laughs> we all have tough days. But sometimes I like to craft and have a beer. And that sometime is today. All right, so we're going to put a little bit more on her hands. And the reason why I'm kind of going back and forth throughout these sections is I want the paint to fully dry uh, before I move on to another layer. Because otherwise it's it's just going to get chunky. It's not going to be a smooth finish. Um, and it, it's just not going to look nice. So patience is a virtue, but also key. So, you know, make sure to have some. And her other hand. Looks like it'll be maybe three layers before we get the true color that we want for this one. That's not so bad. Mm, that's way too much. Again, just make sure to continue to turn it as you're going so you can see all your different angles that you're working with. The only thing I don't like about the singer is these thick legs <laughs> sometimes. It just looks a little bit off for the character that I had turned it into. Sometimes it doesn't really make a difference, but um, this frizzle's a little petite, I would say, at least in comparison to these these uh, voluptuous legs. But I still think they're cute. Let's get that face covered. A lot of times with making any of this stuff, I find that it's a combination of a couple of things that really make it look like uh, the character you're trying to make. Uh, getting your colors and your tones down, making sure that if you don't have the right color, but you have the right tone, um, that will make a big difference with it. Prepping things to get them to the shape that they need to be makes a big difference. If you could only do one of those, just make sure to do that one really well. Um, another thing is details. I think if you can't, you can't really do the colors quite right, but you get your and you can't really like shape it really well, but you have like these little like defined details of that character that really are just unique to that individual. I think that really makes a big difference in the long run. Like she looks cute now, but I think with the iguana, it's gonna really make a big difference. I don't know about you, but like every time I think of Miss Frizzle, I always think of her little iguana buddy. And what's a girl without her pet pal, you know? Okay, so.
So since we're doing her cute little solar system outfit, we're going to do, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm sorry. Um, her hair that I have going so far is deep coral. All of my paints are the Craft Smart brand that you can get at Michael's. Um, again, I just really like the brand. I'll try and link all the different paints that I'm doing or using um, in the description box too. Can I stop saying description box at some point? Um, maybe. We'll see. Navy is what I'm going to do for the dress. So I want that deep blue. So let's put that on there. Now, see, this is why it's so important that we sanded the star off of it, because without that, you would have this big indentation of a star, but since it is solar system themed, if you wanted to skip doing that step, you could probably incorporate it in, just have it be like a slightly different design than her actual dress is. Um, if you hear rustling underneath my desk, um, that's my cat. He's on bed rest and not taking it seriously. He had major surgery just a couple days ago, um, but seems to think that he's, you know, You know, they say cat's got nine lives. I think he's really trying to use them all at once. I don't know. Dude's wild. Okay. I'm going to do her sleeves. Some of the areas um, where we did do the skin before are not dry. In my opinion, this is the downside of working on one Tony at a time. It takes a bit for the paint to dry. See, look at that. Look at that. Now it looks like she's wearing mesh. I don't know, that's not the mystery as well, I know. I don't think I've seen her wear mesh. Not once. Alright. This early stage is always so messy, so just give yourself forgiveness. Move on quickly if you can, because faster you go, you know, faster it's done, if that's your goal. But stay within your comfort. Don't rush yourself. I've made, I don't even know how many at this point, so um, if you're newer, don't compare your speed to mine. Actually, just don't compare yourself to anybody anyways, because it's not healthy. But yeah. Just go um, at the speed you can. I find going a little bit quick on the first couple of layers totally fine because I'm going to have to touch up things anyways. So I mostly just want to get like my idea across and down while I'm starting out. She looks adorable. I'm so excited. Okay. Her shoes. Oh, her shoes are cute. So there's two different ways that I see her shoes. I see like red with these um, yellow shooting stars on them. That's pretty cute. 
I had to see, well, that's not even Miss Frizzle. What is that, Google? Um, I think I'm going to do the red with the shooting stars because she doesn't really have, like, much red. Oh, we need to do red around the waistband. There's also, like, these blue ones with rockets on them. I like the red. I... I'm gonna do red and then and then we're gonna do red along her collar I know it's like a purpley kind of thing I don't know maybe we'll do that I don't know let's do something let's see how it unfolds Do some more hair. When you do like these thick layered hot glue areas, you kind of do have to like smash it in like this. So you can get all the way down into those little nooks and crannies. So don't use a brush you love. Don't don't use like your fine detail brush unless you're going in there and independently. But I like to just slam it on it. <laughs> just get that all taken care of. So everyone's got their preference. Mine's just not elegant. But that's okay. Most of me isn't. If it ever seems like I'm super weird in these videos from like my self rambles. I mean granted I am weird, but it's just so awkward. Ah. It's so awkward talking to an audience that isn't even there yet, so I'm sorry. <laughs> My god, Miss Frizzle, get it together. I need you to stand. It's not a flat surface. I get it. So every area that I'm working on is now wet. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a moment. I'm gonna take a quick break and let that dry a little bit further. Maybe decide if we're doing red or fuchsia or like a maroon or whatever it is that we're gonna do. But I'm gonna take a break and let that do what it's gonna do. Okay, so that should be enough time in between uh, for everything to kind of be a little bit dry and get going again in here. So let's do more of that blue dress. See how now that it's had a little bit of time to dry, it's really taking the paint well and not just moving it around. It's important to give your layers time. Even still, there's a couple of spots that are still a little bit wet. It's a little frustrating, but 
it's because they don't have a they're in kind of tight quarters so they're going to take a little bit of time to dry because they don't have a lot of airflow in those spots or at least that's my theory could just be wrong but either way it's those spots and we'll just have to come back and fine tune them that's okay Tried all these different plans for all these different hair colors that we're gonna put in there. Now that she's like got her hair on or her hair colored, I don't really know if I want to. I kind of like it the way that it is. I'm not sure. Also, I did come to a decision on what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this like wine color that's all brand new. It's actually called Wine. And it's cute. We're going to use that for her little collar around her chest. And we're going to use it for her shoes. And then we're going to do shooting stars on her little shoes. And I don't know if you guys know, but I have some glow in the dark paint. That I'm going to use on the stars on the outfit because that's just cute as hell and I can't think of any reason not to so to me that means do it I don't know what it says to you so whenever I paint um, I like to anchor with my pinky it helps to give things more stability so that I can just kind of pull the brush along like I did there. Do a nice clean line. Um, it just makes it a lot easier. This part sits up, so we're going to paint that as well. Otherwise, we're going to really leave the feet alone because most people don't like the paint transfers that happen um, with the Tonys. So I'm going to leave that. We're still going to seal the feet, but we're going to leave it so that it has less of a chance of doing a paint transfer. Oh my god, they're looking so cute already. Okay. I feel like we need music. But the last time I did some music, I had like all these copyright alerts pop up on there. I had no idea that was a possibility. I'm super new to YouTube. I'm super new to filming myself super new to like this whole freaking world um so i just put that i didn't own the rights to the music and i think that worked but i hope that those videos don't get taken down if you guys have any suggestions on how to avoid that from happening because i'm not gonna lie it did freak me out um, but if you have any suggestions on how to avoid that from happening, um, please comment below. Like I said, I am really new to all of this. Or if you have any suggestions for a good 
phone stand ring light thing that's cheap too because um well you know life is expensive and I'm on a budget but um my light stand's acting up it took so long just to get it to actually work today it like kept shaking like this every time I went to go get it stabilized I thought it was first my phone <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna blame the most expensive thing first but I really did I thought it was my phone at the beginning turns out it was the stand and it had to like tighten it to a point where it felt like it was gonna snap so I think that means it's going out And I would love any recommendations if anybody out there uses one, um, likes the one they use, would be ideal, not just uses one. Um, please let me know. You can see some of the paint's coming off from where my skin has been touching it because the oils in your hands and everything. Um, so after you're done painting these, you do want to seal them. I'll make a video of sealing them this weekend. Planned on making one this last weekend, but we had a medical emergency and unfortunately I was not able to. Um, but I will this weekend, assuming we don't have any other Fingers crossed, because that was terrible. Um, everyone's good now, though. But you do have to seal it. These are all water-based, um, so it's just, it's not going to last if you're using any of these ones. I can't think of any brand or any style that would stay um, if you use something different. So just... Um, Make sure to do that afterwards. Um, and if there's anything specific you want to see in the sealing video, let me know and I'll make sure that I include that. Um, just comment below so that I know and then you'll know, assuming I know. Sorry. I don't know where that was. Okay. So, there's areas on here all over that we're going to have to just touch up as we go. That's okay. Don't be afraid. So, let's pull up a picture of her face. Okay, so she has like this light pink colored lips. They're not real dark. They're mostly like a nude pink color. So we'll take the skin tone that we have currently and we'll mix it. I'm thinking we'll mix it with this pink blast. That sounds like a starburst flavor. So let's do this yummy pink blast. Man, one thing I hate about these paints though, all of these paints in these bottles regardless of the brand I'll do this and it drives me up the wall because then they get like this build up in here like this and because of the build up then it makes it to where it doesn't close all the way Until you get that out. 
And there it is. All right. So yeah, whenever I'm making like a nude kind of color, I look at the base tone of what it is, and that's where that pink is coming from. And then I'm going to take the skin tone, and I'm going to mix it together to kind of give it that effect. Looks pretty dang close. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Now, I did not realize until I actually went to go look it up to make it myself. Miss Frizzle doesn't really have an eye color. Did you know that? I had no idea. So, she's not gonna have an eye color today either. We're gonna do a couple of things. Ah! <laughs> Again, it's doing that chunk. She also doesn't really have like eyebrow color. They're little black lines because you know the 90s nobody's had nobody had any eyebrows. They were just teeny tiny lines. So she was really fashionable, if you will. So we'll go ahead. Just make her cute little face that she has. This is early on into the process. I usually do the face at the absolute last, but the the hair is not taking is taking so long to dry, and I'm just the hair, the dress, the everything. I'm just getting a little impatient, so I want to feel like we're getting close to done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move forward with another spot. So she has like these rounded tops to her eyes. And then like kind of flattened bottoms like that. Like they're like really, really round top. They're a little bit bigger though, so let's make them a little bit bigger. Sometimes I'll twirl my brush when it doesn't have a fine enough point. She has like a little slight outline to her eye, but we're not going to paint that on because to be honest, on this scale, it's going to, it's not going to look quite right. It's going to be really difficult to get it very thin like that. So we're just going to leave that outline out.
Well, I don't like what's happening there, so let's fix that. Now the secret to getting the best shape is going back over it with the skin tone and fixing anything you don't like. If it makes it all go away like it never even happened. And don't be afraid to just go in there because it'll be like it never happened if you don't like it. I think that looks pretty close. I might, might open them a little bit taller. Yeah, that's more Miss Frizzle. There's a chunky spot on my white right here. Which screen I made. Did that happen? No, not. Oh, looks like it didn't even happen. Yeah, don't be afraid to just go in and do something. Oof. Because you can always fix it. Sorry, my dog is having um, some dreams where he's kicking ass. So if you hear a growl, it's because he's really he's kicking ass and taking names. He's a chihuahua, so, you know, naturally he's tough. It's just so funny because when he's awake, he's like, not even a tough guy at all. He's a total sweetheart. Okay, so I think we have the eye shape down. I spent much longer on that than I planned on. But shit happens. My detail brushing brushes are kind of like wonky right now and I don't really know why. So let's just test this and see. Hmm. Do we like that? Sure. Yeah. 
have to wait actually until the pupils. So in the meantime, I'll choose that. Oh, my daughter's definitely awake from her nap. Not sure if you hear that, but she's giving my husband a run for his money right now. Might have to go help. We can see a little Adam, but it sounds like she might be calming down. I don't like this brush. Sometimes my daughter gets a hold of them and then like my good go-to brushes are no longer good or go-to's. She is downstairs now, so there's probably going to be a guest star appearance in just a moment. He didn't. I think he might have had trouble eating it with the cone on. He did earlier. No problem with the cone on. Maybe he just really wanted broth. Hey, time. Daddy. Mom's. I'll take her back upstairs. Please. Hey, monkey. No, no, no. Not safe. Not safe. Let's let Mom finish. So it's she... not hot, but you gotta pretend like it's always hot, right? Let's <laughs> let Mom... Oh, yeah. Oh, Yeah, but let's let Mom cool. finish so she can come upstairs when she's done. Yeah. What do you think so far, honey? That's good. I'm thinning it out because like she has her her cute smile, but it always has the lines with it. Yeah, the thing is, I mean some of these curtains. Tony's have, you know, rounder faces than she does, so I don't you know. Well no, it's not that. Yeah, I know she has an elongated face and there's only so much I can do because mm. it's kids. Like Tony's are yeah. the little creatives are basically little kids. But, um, just more or less mean doing the outline to her smile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to do her lips? That's what I'm working on right now. Yeah. But I have to start with this. I made this color for her lips. Are you going to do, like, see the far left third picture down where, like, her her smile extends and then her lips are not as long as her smile? Are you going to try it like that? Oh no. <laughs> you mean like this one? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. Or like that. One. Oh, I didn't notice it. Okay, that's what you had. Okay. But yeah. Okay, I think that would work. Um, just gonna pick it up. I can't. It's okay. I am recording right now, too. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. As long as it didn't. I know. I'll check. But, um,. No, I, I was hoping to get some feedback slash conversation on it because, I don't know, um, painting a cartoon sometimes, you know. Yeah. And I think she got a hold of my brushes again. Oh, they're not, not as fine? Yeah, they're not as fine. They're not, um. I'm fine. <laughs> They're about that level fine, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, Daddy. She's warming. My back's going me, so I'm going to
feel like I maybe made this color a little early. I'm not sure because it's like kind of the consistency isn't super. So I'm not really sure that's the issue that I'm having either. that and god she was so 90s she, like she has the lip liner so i guess let's just do that she's a 90s character let's give her her 90s look well i'll find the eyes after all I lied when I said it earlier, I guess. I think it's part of what gives it her look. That looks a little more Miss Frizzle. Now she mostly just has like the top line on her eyes. Like that, yeah, that looks like her. She also has like a little dash right here. It's bigger than I want it. Let's make it smaller. And eyeliner. And again, bigger than we wanted, but who cares? Let's fix it. Simba.
Now let's give her some pupils. She has some pretty big pupils. She looks so cute. I just love her. I feel like she already has Miss Frizzle vibes to her. Again, it's the color. It really helps. The prep work helps. And some of those little details. I think once we get the solar system outfit on her, we'll be set. So that dipped down lower than I wanted it to go, so we're just gonna go in and touch it up. There it is. Since we already have our white out, we're gonna go and add her little glisten that she has in her eyes. I'm gonna add it. Make sure they're looking up. Aw, how cute. Let's do her dress some more. Get that color going. go. Get those sleeves and I'm betting those areas of pain are probably dry now. Which is why it's so good to just kind of take your time somewhere else. Give that paint some time to finish doing what it's doing. Instead of just banging your head against the wall and trying to force it to go. Okay, 
and detail up here. We'll clean up this area just a little bit. Whoa, that's way too much paint. Let's go in these little areas. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now my hands shake a lot. Your hands shake when you want to make these. I don't see why you can't anchor your hand as you're painting and you'll be golden. Obviously some people's hands shake a little bit more than others, but I just mean it doesn't hurt to try. Telling yourself you can't do something because of one thing without ever giving it a go. Um, it's just too disappointing. You can't live like that. So, at least try. Girl. I'm gonna paint on these cute shoes. Paint here too. Okay, I'll have to fix up those legs in a little bit. Hi, Scarlett. I have another one of my dogs that just so badly wants to come in here and be a part of the action. I swear to God, it never feels like we have a ton of animals until I talk about them. Then it feels like we have a full on zoo. We have um, three dogs and one cat. Three of our animals have medical needs that were not adopted with that information known, but there was, I mean, you can't, you can't do anything but the right thing once you find out, right? So, um, like Simba, he was the first one to have a medical problem. He has seizures, uh, but they are controlled with medicine. Um, and Emily, uh, I've had her since she was a little puppy. She was diagnosed with diabetes uh, almost, so it was two and a half years ago. So she's been doing just fine with her diabetes for two and a half years. Um, she's very good about getting her insulin shots. We just weigh and measure her food each meal. Um, but she stays regulated now. Oh no, I'm touching the face. Don't touch the face after you paint it. This is why I always wait till the end. Um, and then Sebastian, when we first got him, he, um, he's only six months old, but he's already had like the most out of all of them, unfortunately. Um, he first lost his mobility when we got him and we took him to the hospital because it just got progressively worse. From like Wednesday to Saturday, he went from like a funny walk to not being able to walk at all. Um, took him in, they thought that he had swelling on his spine. It turns out, um, well, okay, so they thought that he had swelling on his spine. We took him home, did treatment of steroids and antibiotics. Um, once he finished that medicine, it came back like almost instantly. So we took him to the vet again. We found this like lump on his leg and found out that he had this deep bone infection that the current antibiotics were not strong enough to fully fight. So we, um, got him on stronger antibiotics. We're going at it for about two months and, um, 
he was doing great. He was almost fully cured of that. And then we had a situation that happened this last weekend where he had swallowed floss. We did not know. And he started getting really sick around the house. We were very concerned, stayed in touch with the vet. Um, we took him in to the vet. She did an x-ray and said that he had some sort of linear foreign object. I don't remember exactly what she called it, but it was like something like that. Um, that he had something, some linear foreign object um, inside that it looked possibly like in the x-ray. She's very much aware of our medical expenses, so she, um, I asked her what she would do. She's a very trusting person, and she said that she would recommend taking him home for right now, observing him, seeing if he's getting better or worse, um, in the hopes that it's not that, but she did prepare us for the idea that he may have to have exploratory surgery to find out what was potentially in there. Um, that freaked me out just because surgery itself is scary. I didn't even like when he went to go get neutered. Um, but so we took him home, monitored him, and we're in contact with our doctor throughout the weekend, or his doctor rather. Um, and unfortunately I had to take him into the hospital. Uh, he had to have surgery. What happened was the floss got anchored to his tongue and worked his way, worked its way through his intestines and started to accordion his intestines and because of the pressure it started to uh, perforate some of his intestines as well and he had to have 10 inches removed uh, so if you have pets dogs or cats if you have pets be really careful about floss. We have been really careful about it ourselves here, um, but but some ended up getting hidden in the closet. My daughter's in a phase where she likes to hide things. It was all very um, innocent. She obviously did not understand what would happen if she did that, and we didn't know that she did do that. So, anyways, um, it did happen, it was in there, and he got into the closet. Ironically, we never even keep the closet door open, but we were running late one day, and left it open, and he got in. It only takes once. So, if you have pets, please be very careful about floss. Um, it can do some really serious damage. I know that's a really dark subject where we're painting such a cute Miss Frizzle, but be honest, she would totally go explore something along those lines. It was just so sudden and unexpected and so incredibly expensive and we're doing everything we can to help pay for it because Sebastian is my daughter's best friend he's only six months old he got the cat from my mother-in-law He's just the sweetest little guy. I couldn't imagine doing anything else but what we did, and it's gonna be tough, but no tougher than losing life.
Okay, so she needs a moment to dry, I think. So we might need to take a break and come back. I'm just gonna do these shoes real fast, you know, since since we're here. Okay, so we will go ahead and let that dry for a second and I will come back and we'll do all of her beautiful solar system outfit. 